you know. I know that we have all these receipts and all these things that we have to have in order to really kind of stay on top of the things that we need to stay on top of, but sometimes I look at this shoebox and just think that we have a giant scrap of fireplace scrappings, you know? I mean, anyway, for the most part, now that I'm looking over everything, we have all of our major bills taken care of, all of our major priorities taken care of, and then when we look into the next month, we well, should be pretty okay. Pretty okay for Christmas and for whatever else we want to do and that kind of thing. And I think that what we should just basically do from here on in is just try to get ourselves in a position where we'll be pretty comfortable by the end of the year and then, well, if we just kind of pull through for the next couple of weeks, I think we'll be in pretty good shape. What do you think? I, no, that's okay. Oh, of course. It's okay if you don't have any... No. No, I'm... I'm not asking you to work extra at all. I'm just saying, this is just... We're a little low right now. We've taken some sick days and some mental health days and such, and so... It's just kind of the reality that we're in right now. I'm not trying to upset you. I'm just keeping you on top of the conversation, too. No. Baby, hold on. Hey, sweetheart. <laughs> this isn't me being mad at you. I'm... I'm trying to be transparent here. I'm just letting you know what's going on. It would be kind of crummy of me to intentionally hide stuff about our finances, right? No, I I, I know. Look, I, I, I just said I realized that we've missed a couple of days due to mental health and such, and I'm just saying that that kind of affects where we are right now financially, but that's not a problem. We're going to get through this. Baby. Gorgeous. Hey. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna I'm gonna put all this stuff aside here. Hold on a second. Are you sweetie? Okay, okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No 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 no. See, here's the thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's the thing. We are going we're gonna get through this. Okay, this isn't this isn't something that's going to render us homeless. This isn't something that we're going to look back on in a few months and wonder why we didn't try to do anything different. Babe, we're doing everything we can do right now. We are completely and totally on top of this situation. You don't need to get anxious about anything. No. No, don't think that at all. Of course I'm not mad that you took mental health days. Babe, that's important. That's extremely important, in fact. To admit that you need time like that, that that's perfectly fine. It, that's something that w I'm more than willing to help maneuver through. Baby. Hey. Hey, shh, 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 shh. You got this, sweetheart. We've both got this. Come on, deep breath in with me. Breathe with me, okay? Look at me. Hey, look at me. Let me see those beautiful eyes. Let me see that beautiful face. I love so much. I'm not going anywhere. Okay? What got you worked up? Was it... Was it something specifically that I said? Now keep breathing. Keep breathing. Breathe like that and just tell me what's up. Mm-hmm. Oh, I did. That's right. I said that we, this wasn't going to sink us. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Baby. <laughs> okay, well, look. Maybe this was a bad time of day for me to start talking about 
money and all that kind of particulars. I just, it's something that I'd been thinking about today while you were at work, and so while it was still on my mind, I just wanted to bring it up to you, that's all. Was, did anything at work happen, or was that all fine? Okay. So, let me see if I have this kind of straight. You were worried about things that I was saying about our finances because you're aware that you work as much as you can right now, or you only work so many hours on purpose, and you didn't know if I was kind of giving you a subliminal message on, hey, you work more because we'd be in a better shape financially. <laughs> Honey, listen. If we were in that kind of a position, I would have had a second job by now. No. No, 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 no. Hey, you... I, I'm gonna say this and I don't want you to take it the wrong way, okay? Please understand where I'm coming from when I say it. But you are working to be the best you that you can be with the hours that you have right now. That's something that you're going to conquer. But you're still working at it, you know? I'm not going to say that it's not something you figured out yet or, or anything that sounds kind of negative like that because you're still working on it, and that's good. And I'm happy that you are. And I think it's very, very brave of you. But you haven't quite reached the finish line there yet. And that's okay. And I'm willing to walk with you every step of the way until you hit that finish line. But until then, no, you're perfectly fine where you are right now. If we need any extra help, I'll find the second job. I don't worry about it. We, 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 we live not that far away from some mom and pop shops. Some, somebody's going to take somebody who would work, you know, 16 hours a week. It'll be fine. Maybe I can, like, get in a couple of hours on the weekends or something. No. No, babe, that wouldn't be a problem. I promise it would not be a problem. And I promise that we are okay. You and I are okay. This job situation is okay. Our finances are okay. Babe, there is absolutely nothing to worry about. Okay? And even if there were... Even if there was some cause for alarm, or some reason why we weren't on top of things. I have absolutely no doubt that we wouldn't be able to take your things together. I have absolutely no doubt that we would tackle them the way we've tackled every other problem that's come up in our relationship. Be it judgy family members, or picky people who can't get the idea that no, we're not best friends, and yes, we will take that single bed in this <laughs> in this hotel, please. You know what I mean. Babe, I promise you, whenever I'm telling you this type of stuff, I'm not trying to trigger anything in you. Nothing at all. I just... I mean, we're equals in this, right? I want you to be an equal with me. You know, I, I tell you this stuff because I want you to be involved. Because I know that you care as much. And honestly, wouldn't it be stranger if I just didn't tell you this stuff? If I kept it secret? I don't want to do that. I mean, this is your money too. This is, <laughs> this is helping us live, you know? Yep, yeah, just breathe. Yep, yeah, keep breathing. How, how do you, how are you feeling? Can you talk to me? Tell me what's going through your head. <sighs> Tingling feeling at your fingertips. Nauseous? Not as much. Good. Good. I'm happy for that. Here. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Let me hold these wonderful hands of yours these fingers that I love, that are calloused because you work so hard, and these nails that you file in the way that I don't understand how you file them, but they're perfect regardless. 
Let me just run my thumb over the back of these knuckles. You're right here. You are right here with me. We are grounded and we are in this together. And there is no cause for alarm. There's no threat. There's no fear. There is no anxiety. There is no nothing. You and I are totally okay. You are totally okay. I'm right here. And you have nothing to be scared of or to be anxious about. Okay? Alright. I'm sorry. I feel kind of responsible for that one. No, I... Like I said, I just... I want to keep you on top of things, but I don't want to make you feel like... Like this. I don't... I don't like feeling like I'm the cause for it. Okay. So, look... You're telling me okay right now, but will you let me know if this builds up again? No, I'll, I'll, I'll try and do something else. I can get you, I can get you some tea. I can get you some ice cream. I can get you some tea and some ice cream. That weird combination that you love that I totally don't get. <laughs> nah, hey, you do you, babe. Whatever you'd like. You're fine for now. You're sure? I don't know. You've had a long day at work. I'd. I'd reward you, that'd be fine. <laughs> That's right. I know that you're the perfectly good judge of that. I'm just trying to help. You get that, right? Are we good? Okay. Well, here. I'm gonna go over a couple of these. Uh, here. I'm going to go over some more of this stuff, so just in case you need me, let me just slip my arm around your shoulders like this, because I can absolutely do this with one hand. I'm going to go over this stuff, and in case you start to feel anxious again, or something else happens, then I'm right here. And all you got to do is just tighten my arm around your shoulders, or whatever you need for some comfort, and then I'll drop what I'm doing, and I'll pay you some attention, okay? Now, uh, let's crunch some numbers and let's see what we can do here. Hmm? 